The timing of your hips and the release of your hands work very closely together. So therefore the day you feel your timing is good, you're shooting better and with the day you feel your timing is bad, you're obviously struggling to make a good score out there. So in order to um, ensure that your hips are working correctly, you need to make sure at the top of the backswing that the weight is situated on the outside of the right foot. So the player on the right hand side is weights on the outside of the right foot. You can see toe wants to come up slightly. Whereas the player on the left hand side, his weight's stuck on the inside of his right foot. Now this sets off a slide movement on the downswing. So he slid forward and he's telling his hands to hurry up. So he's released the club round about there already. Um, and he's either going to push it or hook it. With a player on the right hand side who's in the correct position, his weight moves from the outside of his right heel more to the cushion of the right foot. Therefore his hands and his hips are far more in sync. So he's holding a lot more lag. Uh, he's going to hit the ball further and he's going to hit the ball a lot straighter. So really important, especially if you're a lower handicap and you're just struggling to find that, that secret to timing, make sure at the top of the back swing the weight's on the outside of the right heel and not on the inside of the right foot.